HCS Anaheim is presented by AMD, Astro Gaming, The Marines, Zowie, and Xbox Plays. Hello and welcome back to the Anaheim Sunshine, Dan. We're still in the trenches as these teams battle it out for the lion's share of $150,000. $150,000 and I'm with my boy Scherzer. He's finally oh. made it. Oh, this is really awkward, but oh, we did yeah, it anyway because we had it's to. It's done now. This has been years in the making. It has. To finally get Richie here. alongside me here. Um, but you deserve it. We you paid, we paid a lot of people. We, we did. There we, has been a, a lot of paying that's going on, but regardless, we've got a series which we thought was going to be this Mama series, SSG versus FaZe, first versus second yep. series in the group. There's quite a different story between these two, isn't there? We've been sold short. We, we have sold a lie. Um, SSG are actually 0 and 2 at the moment, and that if they want to win, they have to play FaZe. That's not an easy task for anybody, particularly when you're already 0 and 2. It looks like they're going to be bottom of the group. Yes, I think that pretty much the way things work with ball play, they're pretty much guaranteed to finish bottom now, regardless, even if they beat FaZe. Imagine that. They beat FaZe, still bottom still of bottom. the group. FaZe, even if they lose, probably still top still of the group. So it's one of those games where it's more about kind of testing things now for both of these teams. For SSG, it's about getting some sort of belief and confidence yes. back in themselves, because they're going into tomorrow, likely starting in that lower bracket. And that means that you've already taken that one loss. So you've got to see this. All right, we're playing FaZe. Let's imagine this is actually winner's bracket round one. We're likely to lose this game, but imagine if we didn't. Imagine the kind of precedent that that would set if we can take down a team like this, and that will strike fear into everyone's eyes going into that elimination bracket tomorrow, knowing that they were actually able to get a result against FaZe. If you're feeling bad about SSG, you can put some coin in their pocket by buying some of their skins. If you want to support the team, SSG, whether it be them, Fnatic, Envy, soon to be Optic, that skin's going to be pretty, pretty nice. Some of the European boys, Navi, I'm seeing you there. G2 as well, performing admirably in the tournament so far. We've seen a huge series with them just moments ago. Dan, the skins there, we've seen them all season long, but for me, my, my favorite still, Navi. I mean, that's EU bias, and yes. I think that is, we, we have to, I mean, we've got two Europeans here in a North American mm. regional. How on earth did we get here? Yeah, we, but it doesn't matter. We've been able to sneak into the country, and we've been able to at least allow EU to get that chance here in an NA regional. And, you know, we'll see all the European teams battle out. And, of course, once we get to Kansas City, the next major, we'll finally see these best of North American teams going up against the best European teams. But certainly when it comes to this series, I mean, I'm excited to see FaZe. I mean, yes. I've, I've not been able to watch FaZe. Uh, I've not been able to watch anyone else but well, Space Station. I've seen a lot of today, but not seen as much of FaZe. And you can just see there by Pro Series statistics, we know that FaZe have had a lot of success in online tournaments. Yeah, particularly today, we've already seen them come up against G1, who previously beat Space Station, and they FaZe beat G1 3-0. So it's not looking oh, good wow. for Space Station here. And Looking at the scrim scores as well, Dan, you've got something to tell me. Oh, yeah, the last time these guys scrimmed, it was a 10-3 advantage in favor of SSG. Uh, in favor so of FaZe, sorry! I gave SSG fans a lot of belief there. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, it was, uh, it was FaZe that won 10-3. But, three games, that means SSG have got a chance, right? So what you're saying is, in a best of five, yes. there's three game types that they could possibly feasibly win. I am saying that. And when we get to the series layout, maybe I'll point out a few that SSG could be favorites for, but both this FaZe and SSG squad have two entirely different stories. FaZe have been on the up and up, and on the other side, SSG, they've on a little bit of a decline. There was the team changes that happened. Of course, they, they had the whole formal situation, yes. and then just came back in, and then left, and now they've got Flazin in the equation, who I think, I will add, Flazin has been playing so well lately, and the amount of damage that that boy deals is actually scary. I think he had third most damage throughout Pro Series out of all of the teams, yet they still find themselves bottom of the pool, and that's a little bit worrying. Yeah, I think it's quite difficult that you find yourself bottom of the pool. How do you now work up the confidence, the courage to come up against FaZe and get the job done? I think also shout out to Formal for being the best mercenary in the business. Always there. Always just lurking in the shadows. If you, if you perform badly, Formal might there was a rumor that Richie might not have made it to cast. Yeah. Formal was there, like you know, I'll, I'll step in. I'll do it. I'll cast. And tell you what, like? he would have done a great job. Not yeah. that you, you, do, you top do, two. You top do two, a good I think, job. For formal. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Top two. I think he's great. Um, let's talk about maybe Boo Boo Dubu a little bit yes, because please. I want to focus on Boo Boo for one reason and one reason only. I think that he well, he's checking the time for one. Um, just got to make sure you're on time for everything. And that's because he's an objective player. I think it's more clobber in time. Oh, it is clobber in time. Yes. Boo Boo, take my Dubu. Everyone spam it in the chat right now because he has had an up and down situation, I think, with FaZe. I think there was a lot of eyes on him last uh, last tournament in Raleigh where people were questioning his performance on day one. He stayed until 
the very late hours of that Friday night and played matchmaking to ensure that he was then better come the rest of the weekend. And, and boy, did it pay off. But statistically, even though you look at this KD and you're like, well, that's pretty average. When you look at a little bit further and a little bit deeper and you look at his objective work and what he offers for the team, he is such an important part of this roster. And I know it's all well and good saying, well, you know, he, he gets 250 points of ball time, but doesn't get the slays. And, oh, he gets 16 flag grabs, but doesn't get the slays. But someone's got to do that job. And as long as there are slays happening around him, then he can focus on that objective work. It's almost a lazy thing to do, isn't it? It's, if you see FaZe losing, you see Boobadoobu hasn't performed in the slay category, well, they must be losing this game because Boobadoobu isn't performing. Ultimately, that might not actually be the case no. because his job is to fill that objective role. And he, uh, the reason for that is he relies on his teammates to do the rest of the job. Yeah, and it's, I mean, sometimes he probably looks at it and he says, well, we're, we're, we're out slaying them on bizarre CTF, lads. Yes. But where are our flag caps? He then suddenly walks in and he's pulling the flag 10 plus times. You need that one player who's going to have the balls to walk in and yeah. say, well, I know I'm probably going to die, but I might be able to get this flag to, to bottom middle. And he might not even get the flag capture. So statistically, yeah. the flag captures might not be there, but sometimes the pulls are really important, holding the ball and also being able to rotate the ball. Now, I was an objective player when I used to compete in Europe. So I'm always, you know, uh, I always watch these European, players. Play these European players, the American players compete. And I'm like, wow, I really appreciate that kind of play style because you do have to sometimes put your life on the line and it's not an easy thing because statistically you can actually suffer because of it and everyone does love looking at the kills and deaths it's always highlighted but sometimes you know you got to give some love to the objective players much love to all the objective players out there and not me of course i'm not killing people or doing objective yeah, you don't do much no no even right here right now i'm not doing much i'm getting carried all the way through the broadcast so <laughs> i'm happy to do it happy to be here let's talk about the series layout though dan um you talked about maybe filling us in on potentially some chances that SSG have here. Well, when they scrimmed, and it was a couple of weeks ago now, so things could have changed, but CTF Aquarius went heavily in favor of FaZe. It was a 5-0. Recharge Slayer was close. It was 50 to 48. So that could potentially be something for Space Station. But two of the three games that SSG were able to win in that 13 series scrim, Oddball Streets and Strongholds Live Fire both went in favor of SSG. But what worries me is game five being Slayer Streets, that was another heavy favorite for FaZe. So for me, it's that middle section here of the series layout. Game one, I think, goes to FaZe. Game five, I think, goes to FaZe. But Space Station in two, three, and four, there is the opportunity. But again, that was the Space Station who were playing online and were looking, you know, they were looking all right. Yeah. Here on LAN, that's not looking like the Space Station that I saw no. leading up to this one. They are really struggling today. And I think for the most part, when you look at SSG, you think to yourself, these guys are going to improve when they go to LAN. What do you think has been the teething issues for them here? I think it's a case that everyone else has stepped up their game. Yeah. I don't think it's like they're playing really badly or someone is completely, you know, sending it down the pan and being really trash or anything like that. It's more so that they played against Fnatic, a Fnatic who, who wanted it. They were hungry. Yeah. I think it's the case that maybe they're just playing against teams who are a little bit hungrier than they are. So they just need to maybe find that passion once more. And a victory against FaZe here could be that ignition that, ignition that ignition. they need. Ignition, ignition, I think it doesn't really matter. Either way, you find ignition inside you and then that can allow you to maybe push on and tomorrow they could have that lower bracket run. And who knows, maybe they could push on to top eight, top six. I, I don't think I'll go much further than that, but you know, it's always there, it's always on the cards. Now we talked about Boobadoobo briefly, but snipedown has been an integral part of any roster he's ever been on, ever. Take a look at this. He just puts on a show at all times. He's insane. He's a prolific sniper. Snipe down by name. Oh, Snipe down by nature. There's this character, Ushikawa. He says everyone calls him Bull. Like, you know, they call him Ushi. He says when you grow up being called a Bull, you're going to become the Bull. And I think the same way of Snipe down. His story is unlike most. And I think he's really one of the only examples of overnight success. The man was just the hottest free agent on the market. You were seeing long-standing squads making room. Snipedown had a historic rookie season, winning three major events, including the 2008 MLG National Championship. He instantly became one of the most sought-after players in the league. It's honestly like a six-month-long dream that like, I haven't woken out of and I hope I'm not going to, but uh, this is unreal. Like, I just can't really explain the feeling. It's just my first year. I don't even know. No one has a first season like that. Probably the biggest rookie year of all time. 
the talk was the same amongst everyone. It was like, this kid is the best sniper I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. Did I pick a good time to go to snipe down or what? Make it the over. Eric's role was get the sniper. And that's pretty much it. I was just enthralled watching his screen. I was like, this kid is a freak. Just give him the power weapons. You're guaranteed to win. Let's watch snipe down. Oh, he almost got, oh, he did stick with it there on the cankle. And there's the double kill. Oh, look, another shot taking down T2. And that was the headshot oh. on favor. You won't see that in my next top 10. Or oh, CLG is going to bring it to 2 2 down with a sick headshot. Snipe down. Sniping royalty. Oh, 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 oh my God! Jesus Christ, Eric Rona! Stack down. Need to work together to get these kills here. They have not Oh my God! Oh, oh, oh. Eric Rona! Need to get this kill as well. Overkill! What a time to do it! He steps up. Hits the perfect. Fall dead. Whenever there's been a dominant force, it's either been Snipe Down who's been on that team, or the team that stops that dominance has Snipe Down on it. And that's gonna do it! Team Enemies are your HCS Pro League champions coming out of the loser's bracket and defeating Optic Gaming in back-to-back -back series. I loved him back in Halo 3, and then when I started competing, I actually did not like him whatsoever because he was my competitor. We were always battling for every Grand Finals, basically. And now I think he's like one of the best Halo players for sure. His position, his awareness, and his ability to not panic. The man doesn't take a shot unless he knows he needs to take it. The second you poke out, Snipe Down will take you down. When I'm playing well, I literally call it Snipe Down mode. He just is able to get in this zone where he kind of just blocks everything out. He knows exactly what movements to make to hit that shot in front of him. And he'll do it like clockwork every single time. Very rarely did you see him hitting body shots. He just always find the dome. Oh, that was disgusting. First memory of Snipe Down. Snipe Down is on fire. Let's get our sword. <laughs> Everyone was wondering, how is he going to fit on straight ripping? That clip alone showed you that the man has the talent. Oh! The no scope to keep the sniper in his control and then continuing to hit the shots. Triggers down. Oh! Snipe down is on fire. He was really, he's really good at sniping in that game. The things he was pulling off and the consistency of what he was doing them at. Now looking for the triple kill, trying to find this player underneath the base. It is going to be Lunchbox, that's a triple. Now going on for the overkill. Oh! The triple kill that Eric got when he falls out of the jump up window, it was just the smoothest thing ever. If there's a play that'll make you a snipe down fan, it, it probably would have been that. What he was doing was not just holding down the sniper, but being oh! the sniper. What a so sweet kill. Oh, triple oh, kill by snipe down. One of the most decorated players in Halo, Snipe Down has won 24 major events with eight different teams. Throughout his 13 years as a competitor, his intensity never diminished. Snipe Down and the EG squad smell blood as they have 49 kills. So Snipe Down hits the new combo and look at what it means to evil geniuses, your X Games gold medalist. He's fueled by passion. When he's mad, he tries harder. Don't piss Eric off because Eric will have the last laugh a lot of the time. I told him before it started, the last person that said that to me lost the series, and they lost the series too. So uh, if you're going to talk trash, you better back it up, and we took that series home. That's the montage maker, baby. You're taking that name. You have to live up to it. What a play, Snipe Down. Unbelievable. <laughs> that was nasty. What? I got to take a shower because that was <laughs> filthy. Oh, sweet. He just keeps going. Please. Dan, snipe down. What a player. Some of those clips give me tingles looking at them. He gives me tingles oh, looking at him. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. What, yeah. a, what a man. Like, just, man. He's got everything you could ever ask for. And we're lucky to have him at this event. We're lucky to have him back with Halo. Of course, he, he went other ways and he played different games. But, you know, Halo it always oh, reels him what? back in. I'm excited for this one, sure. Snipe down on the end of that rod. Getting reeled right the way back in. Oh, yeah. Wriggling Ross. Here he comes. But game one. Our attentions very quickly turned to, speaking of fish, Aquarius, CTF, you spoke about last time, it being a 5-0. Space Station have it all to do. 
In favor of FaZe, yeah, I think that this is just one of those maps that really suits this FaZe Clan roster. And, you know, it's a chance for Booby Dooboo to get behind Space Station, pull those flags, and snipe down, bound, falcated, just to slay all around it. But as I say that, Booby does go down first. Snipe down, picks up the camouflage, and something we've seen earlier in the tournament already is Space Station struggling to get their hands on the power-ups, and it was to their detriment in the last time they played G1. So they have really have to get a handle on those. And Snipe Down just on patrol oh. here. Gets behind, loses him the clouds a little touch, and it's going to be a misplay there. Snipe Down goes down. Tried to just get the back whack and was hoping to be able to do enough to at least secure one of those kills. I do like the space station were kind of holding hands, knowing <laughs> that the camouflage was there. It was almost like they're walking through a haunted house and they were worried about <laughs> the ghost that was going to pop out and scare them. But certainly, space station have been able to get some early slays to make sure that FaZe Clan haven't got as much control in the early stages of this game that they might have thought they had. Only they walk around the house with a crucifix and some salt in the doorways. Stop Snipe down because he can be a demon. Flag pulled though momentarily for SSG. And as, as I say that, Flazen does go down. Two members down now for Space Station. Boo Boo Dooboo on the other side of things, waiting to get back involved in the game. And there he is, right back into things. But camouflage under 40 seconds or so. The first one, null and void. Really important that either team just tries to prioritize holding this car side of the map that Falcate currently finds himself. If you can push yourself into your opposition's pistol oh. room, you get so much control, but a big kill there from Flazen, a man who I did highlight earlier. I think that he is really key to this Space Station roster. Snipe down. What can he do? 1v1 with Ace. And he thinks the better of it scampers away towards bot middle, getting called out the whole time. And Ace has been struggling ultimate long in these pools. And we're seeing just why, just not making those decisions. It's just not clicking with them. It's a difficult one with Ace because he's another one of those objective mind players who is prepared to do the dirty work here or there. But he did struggle a little bit in the series which we saw earlier on A stream when they went down to Fnatic. There were times where he only had a few kills and the rest of the team were all 10 plus. But he does put themselves himself in those vulnerable positions sometimes. Vulnerable once more out towards front base, trying to do as much damage as he can. Scampers away once again. And Booby Dooby in hot pursuit puts Ace in the dirt. We're seeing Bound get a kill in the feed as well. Flazen goes down. Zion, last man alive. Over towards this P side. Does get a pivotal 1v1 here, but the collapse is coming through. Snipe down gets that kill with the heat wave. Could be a 1-0 lead. Look at that from Snipe down though. Rather than just, you know, continuing to hold the heat wave and look to push for more kills, he knows how important it is to get that flag across the map. The responsibility was his and the flag capture will go in. So FaZe, even though they started a little bit slow, all it took was one round of slays. It shows how efficient they are with their objective work. First blood, FaZe Clan. Back-to-back -back camouflages. Once again, the old Achilles heel of Space Station just cannot get a handle on it. Flazing, getting burnt and roasted to a crisp as he gets evaporated once more. Boo Boo Doo Boo also puts Zion in the grave with the help of that heat wave to boot. Snipe down though. He's looking menacing right now. Really interesting from Snipe down as well. Like he got that initial heat wave shot, but he recognized he was behind in the fight. So he just got out of there. He had support, he had the call, and he's just staying alive right now because this heat wave can do so much damage, even from a distance that Snipe down knows he has so many kills in his hands right now. And who else but Boo Boo to get that flag moving. He got behind the base, he got a, a one kill, and then actually Snipe down allowed him to combine with that. And suddenly there's just so much control for FaZe. And you can see why in scrims they won this 5-0 already. Killing spree uh -oh. locked in for Snipe Down, and he's got more menace in his eyes. Looking to turn his attentions over towards Fridge. Ace getting caught unaware as that player in the back backstabbed. Tylenol, last man alive here for Space Station, but Snipe Down's in your base. You gotta get him out of there. Yeah, that's the thing. You wanna kind of overextend and you wanna get some control of the areas, but you know full well that Snipe Down's just gonna be destroying you from behind. And you've gotta make sure that you don't allow him to just freely be able to push and run into this base time and time again, and then grab a camo for free. Space Station, all four dead. They're struggling. Space Station, no influence on the map once more. Snipe Down has the flag, gonna walk it home, not even receiving a shot. Picks up the camouflage for free. Three camouflages in a row here for FaZe. Yeah, and he just holds onto that camo as well. He knows he didn't need to pop it, and now he's gonna be a nuisance. And Snipe Down on the verge of maybe even a frenzy type play right now, oh. but unfortunately walks into two players from Space Station. So no talk of frenzies right now. Instead, we'll focus on the fact that it's 3-0 in favor of FaZe and Space Station, similarly to how they've played throughout this entire, entire Friday, just not able to be in the right positions to stop these flags from being moved. It's important to note as well, with this position that Space Station are in, they'll be heading straight into the lower bracket, Dan. Elimination time. They lose one more series, they're out of the tournament. So they will be in the lower bracket with 
three other teams yep. who have also finished fourth. So then you play for top 12 once you're in that lower bracket. And then you would play, of course, one of the teams dropping down from winner's bracket in the round afterwards. And, you know, with Space Station playing the way they've been playing, it worries me a little bit. Is top 12 kind of their cap with what I've seen so far? It's difficult now you watch them against FaZe, who arguably, you know, a top two team, if not top three, top four, depending on where Sentinels are going to roll in this event. But certainly from what I'm seeing in the early stages of this game, it's all FaZe Clan right now. There's another flag being moved, but at least someone's there to stop it this time. It's scary to see SSG coming into this tournament seventh seed and unable to win a single series thus far. Down 3-0 in the game here on Aquarius. And FaZe not showing any signs of mercy here, Dan. Down 3-0, down bad. Down Space bad. Station just... I mean, there's going to be questions asked, right? You're an org like Space Station who are so supportive and behind their players, they won't want to, you know, encourage any sort of changes or anything like that. So get that out of your mind. Instead, it's what they need to do to look to improve as a roster. What's been going wrong for them? They don't seem like they're on the same page right now. They're not the same Space Station that I've been seeing in some online tournaments where they have had good performances. And maybe it's just because other teams are stepping up that little bit extra here on that. It does appear as though they're very much disjointed they don't, don't seem to be on the same page like you speak about. And could that simply put, be put down to the way the first game gone? As we look at Snipe down once more, he's got the camouflage again. Is he spawning with this thing? I, it does seem like that. I know, just, can we can we check Eric Rona's Xbox it. right check now? Is, is there anything going pat, wrong? Pat that man down. Can I pat him down? Uh, no, I okay. don't think that's appropriate. And I think that Eric Rona's bodyguards would ensure that doesn't yes. happen. If, if you didn't know, Eric does walk around with at least three bodyguards at all times to ensure that people like Shirzy yes. don't come up asking for signatures and stuff like that. Like, you know these fans. You know what they're like. Yeah, quite, quite positive. I love a bit of Eric Rohn, so I do. But we're looking now over towards his fridge area. Ace caught with his pants down in the fridge. Must be hungry. And it's cold in there, so yeah. that's the last place you want to be, no. if I'm completely honest. Absolutely. Okay, it should be able to pop this one in. It should be 4 0, will be 4 0. And Space Station, I mean, at this point, I would love to be like, you know. Maybe there's a chance for Space Station. Maybe they can get back into this. Maybe we can see a huge comeback. It has to start now. I want to see a flag cap, and I want this one to be perfect. I want no mistakes, and then I will consider a comeback being possible. No fumbles here. What can FaZe do on the opposite side of things? First time they've really relinquished control of the map. Two kills do go in favor of Space Station. So the door is open just a touch. It's a crack. There's not much hope, but there is some. There you go. There's the flag, and that's as simple as that. That looked so easy, easy. for Space Station, but it was kicked off by a counter cap. Really, the FaZe Clan, they put the flag in, and because of that, a player was out of position, and just like that, three are now dead for Space Station. Boo Boo's back in the base. Here's Boo Boo looking to put a bow on it here. Not quite a complete 5-0. SSG did score at least one flag cap, so small signs of improvement, if nothing else. Boo Boo, -boo does go down. Snipe down has the camouflage again. I don't know how he's so comfortably getting this, but he should be in a position to do enough to stop the players moving up and get in a position to shoot this flag. Is that flag still moving? Flag's down for the moment. Has just been scored. Phase 5-1. Game 1. What a performance out of them. Exclamation point, rubber stamp it. And I think even though I was talking about for SSG, you know, it's important for them to try and get a result here against FaZe so that they can scare the other competitors. It's also very important that FaZe don't stumble on yes. this matchup. They don't want to make themselves appear weak on the other side of things. So they need to ensure they do walk away with a 3-0 here against Space Station, because otherwise, teams like Optic, teams like Cloud9, United are going to say, hey, well, I mean, if they struggle against SSG, surely this is going to be a comfortable one. We look at the stats then. Snipe don't get 14, but Boo Boo Doo Boo, we spoke about how he's an objective focused player. He was the main slayer in that game. As you'd expect. Um, from any member of this roster, but maybe not from Booby Doo Boo. Yes. I was saying, I was highlighting that he's the subjective mm. guy, right? And he's going to be doing all that objective well, work. Give, well, give him the flag. I tell you what, Snipe Down yeah. turned into the objective player slash the camo player slash the heatwave player. It, it seemed like he always had everything that you could possibly ask yeah. for. That was the perfect game to be a part of. That's one of those ones that, you know, you jump into a game of matchmaking and you're like, oh, I've got a heatwave. Yeah. Hey, the camo's there. Oh. My teammates are actually calling out. And my teammates are getting kills. I'm going to win this game. That's what I think that's what Eric Runner feels like at all times. I think Camo Down is probably what his name was in that last game. Such was his dominance and control of the thing. I think it was spawning in his base. It's the only explanation as to why he got it for free every single time. But 5-1 confirmation of Aquarius CTF's game. Faye is looking so, so good. It's an interesting point you raise. Slayer recharges are game two. They want to do, a, do this win in a quick 3-0 fashion and look damn good doing it. No blood in the water. They want to get 
Back to the hotel. Yes. Get into the pool. Filled. Enjoy a little bit of the Anaheim sunshine. It is bloody boiling out here. I want may no I more add. sunshine. I mean, you're an Irish man, very yes. pasty Irish man, very may Irish. I add. Very I am very ginger. Yes. So that combination and the sunshine here does not work out. However, for FaZe, they've got a little bit more of a lax situation. Snipe Down wants to get some updates on his tan. He wants to get a little bit of food mm. in. So let's wrap up this series is what they're saying. But first, they've got to get game two. And we know how Slayers can go, Shirzy. Sometimes the team who's not maybe performing as well throughout the tournament might be able to sneak one in. The last time they played against each other was a 50-48 in favor of Faze. So there's definitely a chance here for SSG. And we're well underway now. But unfortunately, two kills have gone the way of Faze Clan. He's also got the shock rifle, has Eric Rona. And he's looking to fry some hairs. Manages to get away with the grapple as well. You can see how he not just prioritized the shock rifle, but ensured he got a grapple so that he could get out of that situation. Because you do leave yourself in a vulnerable spot yeah. when you pick up that shock rifle. So you've got to be prepared to either take a fight or just get your head down and get out of dodge. And now that Snipe Down does control the shock rifle, Space Station, they're going to be quivering in their boots. Fight or flight instinct kicked in. Snipe Down removes himself from the equation. Two members go down, then you can immediately see him put the brakes on, stick it into reverse. Tries to get that shot, it lands the body. Zion and Ace, a combination of the two, do back down two members of FaZe, but a frag grenade lands the feet of Snipe down to eliminate him from the consequence. That's such a huge grenade as well. Elsewhere, Ace has been able to pick up the sword, but gets shut down immediately. And just like that, Space Station, one, two, three members fall, and they're trying to find that last member of Zion. He's having a little merry dance bottom elevator, but eventually will fall. You can see how desperately Snipe Down wanted to escape with the shock rifle, yes. by the way. In that like package we watched before the game, it was all about Eric sniping, how good he is with the sniper rifle. The shock rifle is the closest thing you're going to get to a sniper rifle here on this map. And certainly it is going to be deadly in some players' hands, especially Eric Ronas. Shock rifle in the back pocket of Boo Boo Doo Boo. Coming off the back of an impressive performance in game one. 17 kills, not to be shaken a stick at by any means or stretch of the imagination. Controlling bottom tower, shoots that shot in anger, doesn't manage to land the body, but will give the information to that player that exactly where he's positioned. Ops not to go for the repulsor this time. Fires a couple of shots, and also tries to evade the attentions of that player. Enough to bait and switch a touch, but two members go down a piece. It's 14 kills to nine in favor of face. Something I will say about Ace, and I know that we pointed out that he did struggle at times in the previous series against Fnatic earlier, but in Slayers, he really does seem to be the core of Space Station. Without him, I do feel like they'd struggle even more. There's something about his mentality of how he approaches a game, maybe because there isn't an objective on that. So he doesn't feel like he has to do too much. He can just focus on Slays. He's so important. His bound should be able to pick up that kill and does. I want to liken Ace right now in the tournament to one man, Buzz Lightyear. Let me, let me follow you with the reference. And let me tell you why. All right. In the start of Toy Story 1, you remember he takes his mask down and he's got nowhere. That's exactly what seems to be happening to Ace at the moment in this tournament. He could, there's plenty of time for him to turn it around, but it has to be here and now for confidence alone. I mean, Toy Story goes all the way to yeah. what? Toy Story 4? Is there a 5? Probably 7 at this there, point. There's a lot we're of Toy Story. So, old. I mean, and, and we're old. Ace is old. Like, he's been around the block. This isn't his first rodeo, right? He, he's he been in these situations. He's been down. He's been in tournaments where his team's not been performing, but then he's come back in a lower bracket. But Snipe Down having a little duel with those in long haul. Space Station find themselves nine kills behind. And with a nine kill advantage, you'd be expecting FaZe to be able to move on from this and maybe make even that gap even bigger. falcate has got the shock rifle now. Historically, he's been the man on FaZe to do the most damage. He's been the damage dealer, the top fragger. At the moment, two members go down, make a three. Falcate, last man alive, lines that shot, but title null, but gets shut down. 25 kills to 18, a seven kill game. Yeah, at least they've managed to come back into it ever so slightly, Space Station. They just need that one little power move, don't they? That power swing in their favor by getting four down. Maybe this could be it, because two players have been eliminated so far, but Zion having to back out of that fight. And this is a good time to get a round of slays as well, with the camouflage coming up. If you can get a couple of slays, get that camouflage, push in on your advantage, suddenly that could be a 25-24 game. Falcate is out towards Peter, trying to back down. Zion does just that. Snipe down, gets the kill, turns one to two, double kill. Camouflage just popped up four seconds ago. Nobody's got their hands on it just yet. Booba Dooba's going to make the first move. He's going to blink first, gets the kill onto Ace as well. The game's starting to swing. It's a nine kill game. Camouflage with Booba Dooba. I wouldn't have been surprised if Eric had shot Booba Dooba there and said, yeah, that's my that's camouflage. My Do you not remember? I had it so much. And Booba will delay that camo to the point he can pick up the sword and now he can be the true predator here. This is terrifying if you are a member of SSG. Lurking in the waters, he's going to strike. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. Obviously, it was the battle rifle this time. 
much, not much life left in this camouflage. Has to get busy now. Lurking in the shadows. Trying to identify some players. Knows that Pipes is almost completely clean. Ace is going to lose his life. Goes down. Hack and slash. One kill for the camouflage. But Sword has been secured. And he gained so much information with that camo as well. I know he was searching for that kill, but all the areas where he was checking, where he was pushing, he could eliminate the factor of there being any team there or any players there. It's going to be a double for Boo Boo. Tries to escape, cannot escape, but then Snipe Down says, oh, oh, Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday, Happy Hanukkah. Doesn't matter, I've got an absolute present and gift here. Shock Rifle, and oh. we're going to see Eric finally putting that Shock Rifle to work. Shock Rifle, Sword. Pipe set up for Snipe Down. All the ingredients he needs to bake a murder pie. A murder pie? Murder pie. What does a murder pie taste like? Death. <laughs> okay, you caught me off guard there. I thought you, I thought I was going to be able to throw you. Yeah. I thought that was going to be one you're going to... I, uh, I, I don't ready. really know, but yeah, murder pie does taste like death. Death. What does death taste like? Awful. No, awful. Yeah, yeah, it probably does, to be honest. 39 to 31. And again, that kind of eight, nine kill gap that FaZe were able to create during the early early periods of this game has never really been closed by Space Station. Oh, a whifferoo. A whifferoo, 41 to 32. This is looking like it's probably going to be 2-0 unless we see something magnificent now from Space Station. Ace trying to repulse the ghosts in the shadows. Nothing there. They're trying to cast something back to the Shadow Realm. I don't know what sort of ghosts and ghoulies are over towards pipes, but nothing doing for phase swords transferred once more 44 kills bounds got the camouflage too they only need six more kills space station are so far out of this right now yeah and you've got to look at their ability to pick up these power-ups because they weren't able to get any camouflages on aquarius they've not been getting them here on recharge either i think their focus just has to be on trying to prioritize things at the same time they seem to be all over the spot right now it's another double kill for snipe down and this is just a field day for these players only three more kills then, and they will be on series point. Trades come through. Tylenol, Ace, get a couple, but Ace loses his life in the process. Phase only require two more kills. It won't come in the shape of Boo Boo Dooboo getting a slay, but Bound set up towards back elevator. Zion has no idea he's there. Prenades now on the floor, gets the information. He's positioned below him by how quick is Bound to scamper out of danger. I love that from him, Re respecting the fact that although they only need two kills, Dan, they don't need to get it quite right now. Well, there's going to be one of them, and this could be the second as well. Oh, Close sh things out, a dagger to the heart, or to the forehead, whichever way you want to see it. 50 to 39, and FaZe do put themselves on series point in quite an emphatic fashion, it has to be said. They looked so comfortable there on Reach Recharge Slayer. They were able to pick up the shock rifles, the camouflages, the swords, whatever you wanted. The goodies were there. It was like they were walking into a Woolworths and they were getting a pick -a mix Not many people will know what Woolworths is, no. but you do. I don't. You don't even know what I'm Woolworths is? I'm guessing it's some sort of UK but I do. shop. Yeah, it's it it yeah. was once a shop that did like pick -a mix stuff. Okay. In equivalent, they walked into Target and they got a pick -a mix Okay. Does Target do pick -a mix do we, we don't know. I don't know if Target do pick -a mix Do, do, do you know they what pick -a mix is? Jellies. Sweets. Candies. Yeah, loads of sweets, and then you get a bag, and then you put it in. Basically, that's what FaZe were doing. It was like, oh, a sword. Oh, we're going to get a little, a little grapple. Oh, a camouflage. Or, you can put it your way, uh -huh. a murder pie. Murder pie. And we've got different... People love murder pie. Sweets. Or murder hate murder pie. Murder pies. Murder pies. Anyway, yeah. game three. I'm going to value pack, actually, murder pie. Anyway, game three. Yeah, game three. He's worrying me with all this murder pie talk. Death. Gonna... Kill. I'm locking my hotel door. Tonight. Absolutely. I, that is a safe not place. <laughs> I usually lock it. It's not yes, like I leave it yeah, open. You just leave it open for anybody to walk <laughs> in at any point. Walk at any point. <laughs> the maids are like, hello, they lock it yeah. for me. <laughs> Oddball Streets is going to be game three. And let's be honest, let's not beat around the bush. Don't. Please You'd don't. imagine that FaZe should be able to comfortably take it with the way they've been playing. I would like to say that last time they played against each other on scrims, it went in favour of SSG, which it did. Uh -huh. So maybe. There is a little glimmer of hope. If SSG say, hey, look, we've won this before. We've won Life Fire Strongholds, which is game four as well. Let's not let's not go out of these pools with our heads so low that everyone is just going to expect a victory for us. Let's go out with our heads held high and at least, at least get one map off the face. Do not go out on a whimper. Don't go gentle into that good night. Get at least a win here up against FaZe to try and steer your career back on course here. Here we go, though, through the eyes and ears of Boo Boo Doo Boo as he sets himself towards Neon. We'll take a fight initially, and what a starting strategy that is from FaZe. They were able oh, to not only no. pick up two kills, but also the Rockets, and are now going to get ball control. That is exactly everything you could ask for when it comes to a starting oh, strategy. No. And maybe this could be already the beginning of the end. 
the beginning of the end, my friend. Ball in the hand. Red gun for Falcate too. For those extended sightlines. To do maximum damage. Not quite safe in his surroundings, recognizing that the push could eventually come through at any point here. And for good reason, Tylenol's positioned right behind him. Yeah, look at the setup at the moment. It's like a really off meta oh. setup, as it were. Falcated. As Falcated gets a double. Could be even more oh. here as well. Do it. Triple for Falcated. And oh my. Space Station came a knocking, and Falcated shot every single one of them out. What I was going to say about setup wise. FaZe didn't kind of put it towards tower, they didn't put it towards station, they held it Neon and they made it work. Somehow, some way, as the Bulldog takes three bites out of FaZe and gets the job done, killing spree secured for Falcated 2. Boo Doo Boo with the ball in his hand, 55 seconds. Doesn't even have to have a single kill, Dan. Boo Doo Boo is on top right now. It's amazing to think that SSG were able to win this one 2-0 in scrims, but this is why you don't necessarily look at every single scrim result because when it you're, you're playing 13 games sometimes they're yeah. always going to be sometimes where you drop the ball and i don't mean to use that as a pun Play ball. but certainly you're going to have times where you get a little bit tired here or there and phase even though they may have lost this in a scrim against space station this is land this is tournament this is where you want to make sure you assert your dominance you want to show what you're made of as there's already 77 points on the board I, it feels like they picked the ball up and they haven't dropped it yet put this into perspective space station right now are playing a 4v3. Boo Boo Doo Boo hasn't had to drop the ball. He hasn't had a single kill yet. But they're winning the game. 87 seconds. They only require 13. Boo Boo's really padding those objective stats. I don't like this. I think he should drop it. He yeah, should get some now. kills. Otherwise, you know, this, this is unfair. This, he's just padding the stats once more. 97 going to tick up. This is, that is one of the easiest rounds of oddball. What are we seeing? I have ever seen. Space Station, they're, they're down. They're out. This is such a struggle. Boo Boo Doo Boo has just goosed in round one. And they won 100 to 0. they won 100 to 0. It doesn't make any sense. Can Space Station bounce back in round two? Are their control pads already down? Are they already thinking about the Anaheim sunshine? Are they already thinking about dinner? Is the sun even still out? It's 6 o'clock. Probably not. Probably not. They, I, I will say that even though there's a lot of sun here, the sun does go down very quickly. She, she, she sets. She gets out of there. In California. She's, she's like, here's loads of sun. Yeah. By Bye. The... Well, I like that. I think that's nice because then it reduces the heat. Anyway. Speaking of heat, FaZe kind of bringing it. Space Station are not. Ace, though, might be able to reignite their hopes with the Rockets here. If you can't handle the heat, get out of Anaheim. That's what we have to say to Space Station right now, is they have not been able to handle any team any thus far. No. no team has been handled by Space Station. They're up in space. That's what's happened to them. They're freezing cold up there. And for FaZe Clan, I mean, they've demonstrated in that previous round the perfect starting strategy, the ability to hold an off-meta setup, and then also to move it towards Station and have the perfect setup. They had a little bit of everything there. Space Station are doing a lot better of not allowing FaZe to get the ball time right now. And my God, we've seen a second a point. by Space Station. So, you know, maybe, maybe we could see something because you know, this is, I look at this SSG roster, Tylenol, one of my favorite players to watch. Ace, historically, such a huge name throughout Halo 3. Flazin, one of the biggest damage dealers throughout Pro Series. And Zion, every single series, he is always doing something that impresses me. But they're just not clicking today. And it's worrying. I know how Space Station can win this game. Hear me out. We're right next door to Universal, the home of Harry Potter. All they need to do is grab the Golden Snitch. If only it were that simple. Yeah. Just a little golden snitch hidden on the map, and it, it, it doesn't matter. You pick it up, and you win. And that takes us to a game four. You know, I'd love to see it. And maybe it is something magical, something miraculous that Space Station need. Because when you look at this game at its deepest value, the structure of Phase Clan has been so strong. And even though in this period of time where we're kind of making a little bit of joke and Space Station are getting some kills on the board, they're still not finding enough time to suggest to me there's the chance of a comeback here. They're one round down, and they're probably lucky that Ball has gone to a round format now. Because if it hadn't, I think FaZe Clan could have won 250 to zero if you go back to old ball times. I just feel like in round two, FaZe haven't had to get in the second gear just yet. They could turn it on with the flick of a switch. But Rocket's in the hand of Ace. 24 seconds, they're starting to rack up some points. Boobie Doobie over towards Cafe in a world of hurt. Gets taken down by FaZe in this time. Showing signs of life now. They've got a little bit of control. They've got a tower set up for the moment as Zion falls to the hands of Bound using that Disruptor. Not, not a weapon we see too much, but it does decay over time. Yeah, and of course it can chain together as well if there is a group of people and phase, you know, they do like to sometimes go hand in hand into combat and you can tag them both up with damage similar to a sizzle stick. Oh, I said it, that's the quote. It's one of those things that you made me say. He doesn't pay me, but no. I think he should. He also made me wear this darn t-shirt. Anyway, 
forced it on him. He tried to put it on him backwards and I had to try and correct him. But here we go. 39 points, make it 40, almost over towards that halfway threshold as Tynanol starting to heat up now. Go for the overkill, my son. Lock it in. Cannot quite punch in the overkill, but this is what you need to see individually. We need to see Space Station step up in these moments. And you know what? The halfway to winning this round. And all it takes is getting that one round aboard, someone on Space Station to look at each other and say, guys, let's wake up. Let's actually show what we're made of. We've beaten these guys in scrims on these game types. Let's show up here and now and make sure that we at least get one map off of FaZe Clan. Only requiring now 30 six seconds that is the quick math look at that look at you i can do things sometimes space station down two members though phase with a full complement very shortly with bound about to come off the respawn screen he's having a very very good game 10 kills for him and only two for eric rona yeah and i think you hit the nail on the head when you said phase clan could you know turn up that gear whenever yeah. they needed to like I think it, it almost looks like they've got their feet up at yeah. this point. They're 2-0 up in the series. They won that first round so comfortably, they're probably thinking, oh, well, Space Station have given up, so we don't really need to try. But maybe now they've realized, you know, Space Station are going to at least put up a fight. They're not just going to roll over and show their bellies. Fuck it, oh. gets another set of rockets, gets the 360 for the double. And actually, I think he might have even secured another kill there. But more ball time being found by FaZe Clan. They seem to be getting back into it. Back tower set up then. Snipe down with hands on the ball doing what he can for his team to just push them over that finish line. Boo Boo Doo Boo defending red with his life. Tylenol comes through, doesn't get the trade, does Boo Boo Doo Boo. Tylenol gets the better of him there. It's a 2v1 against Snipe down. He's going to have to drop that ball, try and secure that kill on the Tylenol who gets himself out of dodge but comes back for more. And Snipe down says, no, no, in the respawn screen, son. Snipe down seems to have been the thorn in the side oh! of Tylenol and somehow Snipe down continues to get kills here. He really is a joy to watch. As it has been this entire phase roster, it has to be said, there is so much to look at with how they've structured their games here from starting strategy to setups. There's been everything you could ask for from a team. Do Surely it. not. Surely Do not. it. A killing spree for Snipe down as he locks it in. That man's turned up and he's ready to go home right here, right now and send Space Station packing. FaZe Clan on their way to being 3-0 in this group, putting themselves into winner's bracket round two. That's what you get for winning your pool. You get a buy in winner's bracket round one. You can sit back, you can chill. You don't have to get up as early. You get those extra few hours of sleep as that ball is once more in the hands of FaZe Clan. Bound, positioned over towards back commando. falcate has got the Bulldog on a leash and ready to unleash it on the next opponent that comes in the front door. Unfortunately though, Bound has lost his life, as has Boo Boo Doo Boo. Ball's been dropped and you see Falcate just trying to weigh up his options. Unfortunately for him, timing not in his favor. Flazing gets that kill. 25 seconds now. All that's required for Space Station to tie up this oddball game. Yeah, did FaZe Clan leave this one a little bit too late? Three members currently dead. And off the spawn, they need one last successful push to try and stop Space Station from tying it up. Oh, rocket launcher though. Fresh. Two in the chamber. Unfortunately for him, he's positioned in the wrong place. Snipe down meets the brunt force of that rocket. Another one for Boo Boo Doo Boo. See you later, pal. 1-1 one, one this oddball game. Space Station. Okay, I see it. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Um, I'm so happy that we've seen that because it did look after round one like Space Station were just giving up. But they say, no, look, let's make a series of it. And there's no reason now why they can't actually come back and get a victory on this map and push themselves into a map four, another map where they found success in scrims. This series is not over just yet, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you tune out and change your stream. I think we've got to watch on because there is still something to be said for the Space Station roster. Don't touch that dial. Dan spoke about it before the game. Space Station have won this before in scrims, two to zero. But what can FaZe Clan do now? Winning the first one so convincingly, so comfortable. Did they take their foot off the gas in round two? I feel like they did. I feel like they probably thought it was going to be an easy ride, but instead it, it really wasn't. Space Station came out to play. But are we now going to see FaZe Clan kind of wake up, yep. lean forward that little bit further, elbows on the knees with the pad in hand, as already we've seen 20 seconds on the board for bound here. Is it going to be another one of those rounds where Space Station is just unable to break the setup? And if Eric Rudd is doing that, it might just be. Oh, and one player slid right past and going to be ace, but gets the kill in the end, but traded out by Boo Boo Doo Boo. 33 seconds of unanswered ball time here. Pinch going to come through towards Cafe. Tylenol trying to get a stop at least. 
but unfortunately, you're just going to see FaZe Clan rotate that ball away, Dan. Space, Space Station are unable to catch FaZe Clan right now. FaZe are just moving around the map together and almost ushering Space Station into any direction they would like, but they will at least see Tylenol take down Bound. So that ball time is going to be stopped. Tylenol gets a double, and now FaZe Clan, they've lost three. Snipe down loses his life. Ball will transition now for the first time in the round. Back over towards Space Station. Rocket's going to pop in 20 seconds or so. Bound getting a couple of shots in his back as he runs in towards C. Tram Station, but just like that, three members go down. Tyler, the last man alive. And he's dead. Four dead. 50 seconds already on the board. Falcate has got hold of the ball, and now they're just watching for spawn. Notice how he was checking all those angles. I think they would have got information now. Station is going to be the spawn. The collapse could be there, but Snipedown just gets caught out slightly. 63 seconds then to nine. To put it in perspective, FaZe Clan, one odd ball round away from being top of their group, securing first seed and a bye, and going straight to winner's round two come tomorrow. A rocket goes down, though. Tylenol has trying to put a spanner in the works, get the double kill with those rockets. As we said, Tylenol has still impressed me. I mean, individually, there are still players on this Space Station roster that I'm like, you know what, they're, they're really chuffing good at this game. It's just they've not clicked today. But thankfully, it is just pool play, and yeah, okay, they... Most likely are going to be starting in lower bracket tomorrow, but that is still a chance to get back into the tournament. That is still a chance to have that elimination bracket run. But 32 seconds on the board, there's still a chance that they can actually get back into this series. Okay then. Over towards Arcade. Two members of Space Station get tagged up all the while. Trades come through. Bound to snipe down, pick up two. Tunnel does get a trade in the way out to take down snipe down. Falcate's got the ball over towards Arcade. They only need 20 more seconds. Boo Boo Doo Boo playing escort here, putting down shots for his teammate just to keep him nice and safe and comfy as he makes his transition back over towards Tram. Tylenol's going to take down Bound, which is going to make this push a little easier as Falcade also gets a kill. Boo Boo Doo Doo Boo answers back onto Tylenol. Three dead now for Space Station. FaZe only need 11 seconds. Ball's in a bit of an awkward area. Otherwise, that probably could have been game right there. But Space Station off spawn now can all charge to at least try and contest it. But one more set of slays, this is probably going to be game set and match. You have one more push. It has to come here and now. Tylenol gets one kill on the bound. Do FaZe just bait this ball now? They have so much time to play with. This push is coming through. B-Stairs, three dead momentarily, though. FaZe go down. Space Station need to make the most of this. Rocket's going to come up in 25 seconds or so. It's not out of the realms of possibility. Zion just has to be careful that he doesn't leave himself exposed from too many angles. As he says, as I say that, Fubu does drill him from bottom middle. These rockets are very important, and Space Station know that, and there has been three kills go their way. Could be four here, which it will. Tell you what, Space Station, they're still scoring, and all fem four members of FaZe Clan are down. FaZe just need to group up here, Richie. They just need that one spawn all pushed together. But the trouble is, there's going to be a rocket launcher on the other side. Rocket launcher then, patrolling. Rolling, shoots one flare, does Tylenol, nothing with smoke with that one, and he goes down. Rockets are falling. And will the defense fall too? Is that going to be the punch and a hole in the armor now? Ball dropped over towards red. Falcate, it's got that rocket to play with now. He fires it in anger, gets one kill with the help of a melee to secure it. Ball is still down. Zion's got it in his hands, chucking it up back up towards Commando to keep it out of the hands of FaZe. Three dead for Space Station. Tylenol, last man alive. Did they get that ball out of position? No, they didn't. That should be it now. I mean, there's just nothing Space Station can do, surely. Count us down then. Three, two, one. Game, set, and match. The complete clean sweep for FaZe Clan. They win 3-0 in the series. 2-1 in the oddball. Flawless. It was a very comfortable series for FaZe. We know it. You know it. They know it. Space Station know it. But... At least Space Station were able to get that one round on the board in Streets Oddball. I thought for, for, for maybe just a little bit there was going to be a slight comeback potential, certainly in that game, and maybe there was going to be one map for Space Station. But more misery, more woe for SSG. But for FaZe, it's an entirely different story. They seem to be on top of their game. They dominated this pool, as they should have, and will find themselves in winner's bracket two now as they get a bye from winner's round one with the way that they won that pool. Looking at the stats we highlighted earlier in the day, Falcated just how good he is. 28 kills, Dan, 19 deaths, instrumental, and why they won that oddball game. It's just such an impressive roster. 7K damage as well for Falcated. You're, you've got to be impressed. But on the other side, Tyler now 7.5K. I mean, he was coming out to play. A really nice triple kill as well. I want to also highlight Boo Boo Doo Boo. 
okay? Didn't get a single kill in the first round, had the ball the entire game, still managed to put up 6,000 damage. Yeah, a very impressive set of rounds afterwards. And, uh, you know, he had a really fun round one where he just yeah. held onto the ball for the entire this time. Game. Just kind of watching, he's probably there eating some snacks, yep. saying, okay, you guys do the rest of the work. He got one assist. So at one point, he certainly did something. He dropped the ball shot once and picked it up again. You imagine that was probably yeah. the, the case. There we have it then. Confirmation of exactly what way it shook out. 5-1 Aquarius CTF. 50-39 Slayer Recharge. Oddball 2-1. FaZe never looked stressed. Space Station goes straight into elimination bracket tomorrow. Fortunately for them, they'll have some other teams who aren't having the best of tournaments either. So that does pretty much wrap up first and fourth place in yes. this group with FaZe finishing first, Space Station finishing fourth. But it's that middle pack. Yeah. Fnatic and G1, who are kind of uh, second and third right now, who's going to be able to take that second spot? So with the way it works in pool play, if you finish second, you play someone third from another group. Yeah. If you finish third, you play someone second from another group. So arguably, you get an easier bracket and an easier matchup if you do finish in second. So that is going to be a huge matchup when those two go toe to toe. There we have it then. Phase 3-0. They sweep Space Station right on out of here. That's all from us. We'll see you next time.